How's it going guys? Uh, welcome back and thanks for checking out this video. Uh, this will be another toy photography tutorial. Uh, in this one I want to talk about uh, a very simple but really effective and kind of addicting technique where you're capturing sun rays or capturing sunlight rays. It's a lot more simple than it sounds but it's so fun and it's so easy. I also just want to make sure you guys know about these really cool uh, t-shirts I had made. They're actually really nice and I wear my own shirt probably way too often uh, but check out the shop below in the description it's also available on my website sirdork.com but anyway capturing these sunlight rays uh, can be really easy as long as you kind of know where your spot is every day so for me I'm kind of in like the uh, park section of my apartment complex and so right over here is the perfect spot for me every single day so the sun sets right over there and when you have the sun setting and it's that like direct kind of sunlight it can make the photo really really powerful and it can really light your photo very well so basically how it works if I'm gonna describe this correctly I probably won't but to kind of imagine the way your shadow looks so if the sun is setting and the sun is very low towards like the horizon it's gonna hit right on your back and then cast a pretty long shadow on the ground in front of it. So we're basically going to be taking that theory with an action figure, but really, really exploiting that sunlight and making it look really cool uh, in a, uh, a toy photo, basically. So the best way to really get those sun rays to show up is with some kind of dust or some kind of particle or s fog or mist to make that sunlight and those shadows really show up. So in this case, I'm going to be using uh, atmosphere aerosol. I've used this in countless videos. You guys probably heard me talk about it. But basically what it is, it's just a little spray. But it can change your photography for the better just by adding a little bit of fog or mist or helping capture sunlight. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be using in this video. You don't necessarily have to use this. You could use any kind of dust or just dirt that you have. like. It's kind of moist over here in New York right now, so I can't really use any dusty dirt. Um, but I really recommend this, and I've recently gotten in contact with them. So I also have a 10% coupon for you to use. So please make sure, if you want some of this stuff, check down below as well for 10% off on this wonderful product. But let's get started. So this setup was actually really quick. I kind of just grabbed a couple figures and some of this and set this up within just like five minutes. So I went to my spot. I found where the sun sets. So the sun was behind my figure. I wanted him, the sun coming right on the back. Uh, and I did the, the, the little stick trick that we've done in a few videos where you kind of stick some sticks in the ground and you could kind of make it look like a, uh, like a forest or something. And so once I had that all set up, I basically just let the sun and the environment work itself for me. So a little bit of spray along with that made the whole thing pop. Usually I want to have a ton of light on the figure's face so you can see it very well, but I kind of wanted the opposite this time. I wanted the sun coming from behind, so it was almost like a silhouette. And so the, the, the shadow coming from the figure will project on the ground and really show up in the mist. It's really, really cool. Uh, and you can really do this with any kind, of, any kind of figure, any kind of environment, as long as you have that sun, that really powerful sun behind you. You can do it in the morning, you can do it at the end of the day. Uh, it's really, really cool. Having all of the sticks and the trees kind of gave the photo a few more things for the sun rays and for the really cool shadows to show up. So when you're going and taking photos like this, kind of keep in mind little things you could probably add in there to help make those shadows show up. So if you do decide to go and try this, uh, please, please do tag me in your photos on Instagram. Uh, that's where my photos are going to be. Um, also on Twitter, Facebook, uh, and I've actually kind of... And I'm actually a little embarrassed to say, but I, 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 I went down the, the TikTok hole. I did it. I did it, guys. I made a TikTok, and I've been putting my, my stuff on there. I couldn't help it. Uh, but yeah, the photos will be on there, too. So check it out on there. It's all going to be uh, linked below. Please check it out. 
Thank you guys for watching this video. I know it was a quick one, but hey, this kind of technique is just quick itself. Uh, so I hope you try it. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.